not me filming a whole video dedicated to TikTok. What's up everyone? In today's video, we are going to be discussing summer 2019 TikTok. I may or may not have planned a whole video dedicated to this. I'm very passionate about this topic, but we just need to reminisce together and discuss all the highlights of it because there are way too many. No, that made no sense. There's a lot is what I meant to say. And because there's a lot, I'm a little scared I'm gonna like miss something. So like if I forget anything, like just comment down below and then we can kind of like chit chat, joke about it together, whatnot. Yeah, mm-hmm. If you clicked on this video, you're probably like, Ava, what the heck is this? Why are you making this? And let me tell you. So basically, I miss summer 2019. Shut up! Like, okay, they get it. I feel like TikTok back then was so much less, much less, so less toxic. The toxicity levels were just like, right now they're up here and they were just like down here. Well, like maybe they were like a little bit, but yeah. I feel like the climate of TikTok is like really different now because there's all the big like TikToks stars and there's so many people on the app now those new, new people can just bring a lot of like negativity and that's not what we want i felt like tiktok was actually fun like i felt like the trends were more fun it wasn't as repetitive i feel like literally on my for you page i like don't even actually that's such why i go on tiktok all the time stuff so. this you this you this you this you this you but i feel like the for you page was way more like variety of different content and different jokes i feel like now they either like make the same joke 20 times and you're like okay we get the point now some people can just like take a tweet and make put the tweet in their video and just go and boom million likes and you're like that literally took no effort. So done with the whole discussion of why I don't like TikTok now, let's actually talk about when TikTok was like better. So the people that were like most known on TikTok in this time period literally are not like, some of them are the same that they are now, but literally Charlie, like she wasn't a thing. She wasn't existing on TikTok. I mean, she was like birthed obviously. Like she was like alive, she was breathing like, ooh, but she just like wasn't prevalent on the app, you know? But the TikTok creators that I remember that were prevalent on the app are Benji, Caleb Finn, Little Huddy, Avani, and Hannah Rod that I probably like missed a ton. Those were just like the ones that came to mind. Also another big thing with the creators on TikTok, like the house thing, like- That literally didn't exist. I think like the Hype House was like the first like TikTok content house and like the Hype House did not exist in this era. The content houses are just like too much. I'm guilty of it. I'll be scrolling on TikTok room and it'll be like new house. And I'm like, who, who are these people? Like, who are you? That's what the other thing, like a lot of people like, like, uh, the different sides of TikTok. Like, um, you're on straight TikTok? No, I'm on all TikTok. Like, what? So, like, even though they didn't have houses, they definitely did have, like, prevalent groups in this time. So, the one I want to talk about specifically was... It's not a house, it's like a tour. So TikTok boys went on tour. I personally will never understand the influencers like going on tour. Like I'm confused like what the purpose of it is, but that's just me because usually they like don't have, like a normal tour is like a singer. So I kind of considered the Lights Out tour like the almost like replacement of what houses were. It was basically a tour of a bunch of like TikTok e-boys if you would consider that. And they would just like go on tour, have like girls like fangirl over them because they're like hot. <laughs> I don't know. Going off of what I just said with the e-boys, there was like a lot of different like aesthetics and it was kind of fun. Like I liked it. There was like e-boys, e-girls, soft girls, soft boys, um, and visco girls. That was like the biggest one. So they all kind of had like different stereotypes to go along with them. And sometimes the stereotypes were like negative and you're like, mm. but then sometimes they were just like funny or they were just like specific like fashion stuff that like followed these stereotypes, you know? So the, I think the Visco girls were definitely like the most notable. Maybe e-boys too, but Visco girls, they kind of like branched like way off TikTok. Literally, I could like go to school and have a hydro flask and I would be like, oh my 
Avon Visco Girl. Like, it was a lot. It was a lot. Visco Girls got so much, like, mm. And then along with, like, the Visco Girls, there was a lot of these, like, cute aesthetic accounts. They were probably, like, run by, like, 10-year-olds. But, you know, they were kind of, like, satisfying. Like, I would, like, watch them sometimes when I was rage. And I would be like, ooh, go off. I don't know. They're, like, kind of cool to look at. And they literally would always blow up. Like, the aesthetic accounts. Like, girl, these, like, 10-year-olds that made them, if they were 10, I don't know how old they were. But they would be, like, getting, like, millions of views for, like, glitter coming off, like, a makeup brush. I don't even know. But it was kind of a vibe. I'm not gonna lie here. Another huge thing on TikTok. I mean, it was a huge thing in the summer 2019 era in general. But a lot of it was brought onto TikTok. And that is Stranger Things. I d mm, don't attack me for this, but I've never seen Stranger Things. What did he say? <laughs> and there was a big thing with the Area 51 raid with like the aliens and everyone's like, oh my god, on like September something something. We're gonna go raid Area 51. And then it became like a whole thing and people actually like went and it was like a whole thing. But I thought those trends were like so funny. Also, I think that the dances were like so much better back then because I feel like they had more dance elements in them rather than just like, whoa. Like I feel like every dance now, oh my God, why am I getting up to dance? Who told me to do this? Okay, fit, okay. Okay, I'll go right here. I feel like every dance now is just like, So some other notable trends was there was like a lot of like these like cool painting videos and they would paint like calculators and hydro flask and desk and bathroom stalls. I don't know why these people are like really talented. That's another thing. I feel like now people like just like get famous off of like looks and there's nothing like necessarily wrong with that but sometimes it like overshadows people that have talent besides their looks. Another huge trend was like the clown check and I'm pretty sure this was started by Ivani. Clown check. I see fun. Another big thing, which I think was like kind of like elevated, that literally made no sense. I think it was kind of started or popularized by the Bisco girls. And there was trampoline sleepovers. I don't know, trampolines, so I never got to do this. It kind of sad, kind of heartbreaking. It's okay. We'll get through it. So they would literally like just put blankets on the top of their trampolines and then just like sleep. I mean, it's like a sleepover. I don't know what you guys thought it was, but I think it was pretty snazz. I I liked I liked the trampoline sleepover thing. It seemed like a vibe. Another huge thing was the Brandy Melville like making fun of the workers or the employees at Brandy Melville. Yeah, like next time the customer brings up that we only have one size only, just say that like that's all we have. Like we can't do anything about it. Yeah, I just thought those Brandy Melville videos were hilarious. They were like POVs of like the workers being like really, really mean. I mean, I actually never been into a Brandy Melville, so I don't know if that's like accurate. And the last notable trend that comes to mind in particular is like the videos. Oh my God, they were kind of cute. They would do like every day, making a video every day until she falls in love with me. It was kind of dramatic, but it was kind of funny because there would be like this one specific dude trying to like get this girl or something. And they would literally make videos every day it was like a whole thing i i wonder if they're like dating now or something that would be like pretty sad and i think it was pretty interesting because then you would just be like scrolling on your for you page and then you like keep up with them you're like oh day 20 and i was like oh so yeah i think that's all i want to talk about in today's video i don't really know if anyone's gonna watch this it's okay but make sure y'all comment down below what was like your favorite trend or if there was anything i missed in this video which i'm sorry if i missed it but like i couldn't remember everything off the top of my head and yeah okay that's it bye guys